Hey creators, let's dive into this month's roundup. When you stream on mobile, your live streams may now surface to anyone browsing the Shorts feed. Viewers can tap directly in their feed to be redirected to your live stream. We hope this helps your live content reach new audiences. You can now control what types of push notifications you receive from YouTube Studio. Head to the YouTube Studio app, then tap your profile picture. Tap Settings, then Push Notifications. Here, you can choose to receive push notifications from Analytics, Comments, Achievements, Policy, and Earn. Streamers, you can now access user history from your live chat feed to see user chat history, public user history, and other moderation activity in streams. Hover over a message, then the three-dot menu, then Channel Activity. You'll be able to see user activity like deleted messages, timeouts, hides, and more. We hope this helps you and your moderators take actions appropriately tailored to the user's past behavior. This feature is currently available on desktop and will be rolling out on mobile soon. We're rolling out a new post-only feed on mobile. We know community posts are an increasingly popular way for you to communicate with your audiences. So we've added the post-only feed for Android and iOS mobile devices, which give more opportunities for viewers to engage with posts you share on your community tabs. Viewers can access the post-only feed from the home feed by clicking the View All Posts button that shows on some community posts. You can now feature top community clips publicly on your channel page, making them easier to discover and encourage viewer participation. To set this up, head to the YouTube Studio Customization tab, then click Add Section. Choose the top community clips section, then click publish. Top clips made from your video content will then be publicly visible on your channel page, organized by views and recency. If you're an audio first podcast creator, you can now submit your podcast RSS feed to YouTube. When you do this, a static image video will be created for podcast episodes on your RSS feed using your podcast episode or show art. YouTube will upload new episodes automatically on your behalf and notify your eligible subscribers. To submit your RSS feed, head to Studio, then Create. And that's it for this month. Be sure to leave your comments and questions below. See you next time.